Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to God for all things. Today, dear brothers and sisters, we not only commemorate the Holy Fathers of the first six ecumenical councils, but you also celebrate the Holy Archangel Gabriel. And yes, we all, we all should be quite aware of his, the role that he played in bringing the in bringing the glad tidings of the, birth, of the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ to the Most Holy Theotokos. And we should also remember that he also came to the Holy Righteous Zacharias in the temple to announce the future birth of his son and our, and our holy patron, St. John the Baptist. But were you aware of how much more of a role that he played in the events that led up to the incarnation and, and of our Lord and beyond. For he was there to announce to Holy Righteous Anna, ancestor of our God, that she would bear a daughter, the ever, the ever Virgin Mary. And that, and he also was in the temple with her daughter all those, you know, why she, was, why she dwelt in the temple all those years. He conversed with her. He also appeared to Holy Righteous Joseph, the betrothed, in, in, many, in several dreams, letting him know that the seed that she was to bear, the child that she was to bear was of the Holy Spirit, and he was not to fear. And he warned him to flee to Egypt. And as the Holy Archangel Gabriel, his name means strength of God. According to holy tradition, he was there present in the Garden of Gethsemane, strengthening our Lord. And so he, and there were many times where he was also in the, he also appeared to the righteous in the Old Testament. And so he is someone that we should we should most certainly turn to for our intercession before our merciful Lord. And he is also someone that we should emulate for, for even he was, not un, not, was unable to fully comprehend the incarnation of our Lord Jesus Christ, of the Holy Spirit and of the Virgin Mary. And so we too must also trust in our Lord for the many things that we fail to understand that are beyond our comprehension and that he instill and that he that he instead instill us with faith faith that we may be able to fulfill his will and bear the burdens that we that have been put upon us and trust him fully and know that he and know that in his love for us yes we are not we are not meant to understand certain things but we need to trust that he knows what's, it is, what is best. And so, dear brothers and sisters, let us keep these things in mind and emulate, uh, emulate the service of the Holy Archangel. Let us remember to serve our Lord regardless of whether or not we can fully understand what is set before us within our lives. And may we continue, to, and may we, in, in emulating that service, fulfill that which our Lord has purposed for us. And may we too, and may we all thus lead God-pleasing lives. Amen. Amen.